2016, you and Will decided that you were going to live completely separate lives. Yes. It was not a divorce on paper, right. but it was a divorce. divorce. So from the year 2016, which is seven years ago now, <laughs> yes. y'all have been apart. Yeah. This interview was taped a year after Will and Jada separated. So uh, how long have you guys been together? <laughs> uh, 23 years. How do you keep it hot? Um, how do I keep it hot? Uh, you know, uh, maybe, I, I don't know. <laughs> Over the next several years, Jada and Will kept up the appearance of a committed married couple. Neither let the public know they had already split. Still trying to figure out between the two of us yeah. how to be in partnership in regards to how do we present that to people. By the time we got to 2016, we were just exhausted with trying. I think we were both kind of still stuck in our fantasy of what we thought the other person should be. Guys, man, I don't know if, if, if it's true or not. I don't know. But we do have to understand if they were separated during that time, or at least if she can claim that, then it, it makes it appear the way she did with the affair with August, it's not that bad or the entanglement. It's not that bad because her and Will were apart. One thing I do know is that the, this woman loves to publicly embarrass Will. She does. Man, she didn't care about him. Does not care one bit about that man. Not one bit. She will do whatever. And again, Will, I believe Will thinks it, you know, that he's getting love from her. He is not. She has none to give him. None. But guys, I'm going to show you guys a clip of, of, Jada, of Jada filming Will. And I believe they're in their kitchen. And she's filming Will. And Will appears to be pretty upset about this. But again, she does not care. Because again, no love, no respect, nothing. But guys, watch this. She's coming to the table. She's going to be at the red table. Would you say she has been instrumental in you and I redefining our relationship? I would say don't just start filming me without asking me. Oh my goodness. If you could film. Sam, come help us again, please. I'm still dealing with foolishness. Don't. No, nah, no, nah, she, yeah, because she, don't just. Would you say that she helped us heal the hurts that we caused between one another? My social media presence is my bread and butter, okay? So you can't just use me for social media and not, you know, don't just start rolling. I'm standing in my house. Don't just start rolling. Guys, man, this is what happens right here. When you are trying to appease somebody. When you, were, when you have made somebody your God, this is what happens. You know, they don't respect you. They don't respect you. I mean, she does not respect Will. Not one bit. You know, again, she can do whatever she wants. She knows that Will will bend over backwards for her. Do whatever for her. And I'm not saying that Will gets down and bows down to her. But in a way, that's what he's doing. When you're constantly trying to appease somebody else, you, you're making them your God. You're doing whatever to make them feel better. And, and you're hoping, in turn, they will make you feel better. But it doesn't work that way. and It's not going to work that way. But guys, I'm going to show you a clip from the Red Table Talk. And her and Will are talking about um, the cheating that she did on Will with the younger man. But guys, watch this. During that time, launched into an interaction mm -hmm. with August. What do you feel like um, you were looking for? I just wanted to feel good. Mm -hmm. See? It had been so long mm -hmm. since I felt good. Yeah. And it was really a joy to just help heal somebody. Yeah. Yeah, I right. think that I has mean, a lot to do I with my codependency, busy. which is another thing that I had to learn to break in this cycle. Mm -hmm. Just that idea of needing to fix and being drawn to people that need help. 
whether it's your health or whether it's your addictions, mm -hmm. there's something about that childhood trauma mm -hmm. um, that feels as though it can be fixed through fixing people. And there's no way <laughs> that she can help August or whatever his name is. She can't help him. It's all about her ego. It was also about, man, again, she's getting some thrill, some excitement off this. That's it. <laughs> That's all that is. Man, she, she can't help him. You would never be able to help somebody by hurting other people. You can't. You know, you, you can't hurt your marriage. You can't hurt your husband. You can't hurt yourself. And that's what she's doing um, by, by having an affair with somebody else. And, and you think that you're healing that person. That you can't even heal yourself. You truly can't. You can do nothing for yourself. And there's nothing you can do. I mean, you can, you can open yourself up in a way. You can be aware there's a problem and kind of call on God or whatever. to. But again, you can truly not fix yourself. If you could, you wouldn't have problems. You wouldn't have problems in your life. <laughs> Everything would be fine. But we can't fix ourselves. And you definitely can't fix other people. You definitely can't, um, you know, believe that, you know, Hey, look, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to fix some, some younger guy by sleeping with him, by having an entanglement or whatever she said or what. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. The feed goes silent, and so does the audience after Will Smith takes a swing at Chris Rock on stage at the Oscars. It all went down after Chris made a crack about Will's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, and her shaved head. While Will appears to laugh at first, things immediately turn sour as he takes to the stage, slapping Chris straight across the face. Will shouting at the top of his lungs, keep my wife's name out of your mouth. Will got a chance to address the incident when he won the Best Actor honor, his first ever Academy Award. You got to be able to have people talk crazy about you. In this business, you got to be able to have people disrespecting you. But love will make you do crazy things. Gosh, we've got to understand, number one, that is not love. That in the least. Man, I think of a few different things to call that. Hell being one, but that's not love. It's not if somebody can direct you to to get up on stage and to assault somebody, to slap somebody on stage, because again they made a joke about you in front of the world. <laughs> they have power. They have they have all kinds of control over you. We have got to recognize that. And I think in a lot of ways, man, men have made women their gods. They have. They have truly made women their gods. And uh, we have got to understand, number one, that's not going to work because women, they want to respect the man that they're with. And they're not going to respect you if they know that you will bend over backwards and do whatever it is that they want you to do. They're not going to respect you, number one. And, um, you know, and number two, you're wanting to get something from them. You're not, you can't make anyone happy. You can't make anyone truly happy in life. They come from within them, not, not you. You can't make anyone happy. But if you're trying to make her happy, it's because you're wanting something from her. You want approval. You want a pat on the head. You want sex. You want whatever. So you're doing whatever to get that approval from her. And she understands that. And over time, she will hold out. She'll initially give you what you want. And then after a while, she'll hold out. She's not going to give it to you. Not right away. No, no, because... She understands that the longer she holds out, the more that she'll do for her, the more that she'll do to appease her, to make her feel good. 
and the war that she can get from you. That, I mean, that that's true. That happens all the damn time. And we have to understand that's what's happening here with Will and Jed Smith. As again, she is holding out. She is uh, directing him to do whatever it is that she wants him to do, and he does it. I mean, again, he, he's publicly embarrassed all the damn time because, again, he's trying to seek approval. He's trying to get her to give him love, to give him what he thinks is love, but it's not. And truly isn't. And, uh, you know, I, th- I think men need to recognize, man, number one, you can't make anyone happy. Number two, man, if you try to make a woman happy, if you try to make anyone happy in life, they're going to wind up taking advantage of you. And they're going to wind up resenting you. And you're going to wind up resenting them. And, uh, you know, again, that, that happened. This happened here in this case with Will and Jada Smith. You can, you can tell she has no respect for him, none at all. And she knows that he will do whatever it takes to get within her good graces, so to speak. So we have truly got to understand that. But guys, if you would, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. You son of a... You son of a... You son of a...